In this video, we will create multiple zones which each have a different background music playing while the player is inside that zone. As you can see here, I've created a base plate with four different sort of sections. We have the blue, the yellow, the purple and the red section. I've also got a spawn pad in the middle, a spawn location, where the player will spawn. Now of course I want a different music to be playing when the player is in the yellow section to the purple section for example. So there will be a different background music playing in the blue, the yellow, the purple and the red section. To get started let's create a new part. This will be a zone. We want to move it around and resize it to cover the entire area of the zone. This is the area that if the player is within will play a specific background music. So I'll do one for the purple zone and we want to make it really tall as well because if the player jumps we don't want them to be able to jump outside the zone and I'm also going to make it go below the floor as well just because we want the zone to sort of be um, an infinite, well it doesn't need to be infinite but it needs to be a very tall, it needs to cover a lot of the y axis. Now let's make the part transparent by changing the transparency to 1 in the properties tab. If you don't see that go to view and uh, properties. And we want to turn can collide off because we don't want the player to collide or see the part. Make sure that can touch is still enabled though because we want to fire touch events in the code later. Now let's add a sound to this zone. So I'm going to click the add and add a sound. Change the sound ID to whatever sound ID you are using. I'll be using 1593025433 which is the retro flute music sound uploaded by Roblox. Be careful using other people's audios as they may be copyrighted. Roblox uploaded audios are free to use. Make sure that you have looped enabled and make sure the roll off max distance and the roll off min distance are both really high. I've set them both to 10,000 uh, just because we want uh, we don't want the sound to fade out as the player walks away because we, they're going to be in the zone all the time. We want it to sound like it's coming from the from their position all the time. If that makes sense, we don't we don't want spatial audio. Set the other sound settings to your liking. I will now rename this part to Purple Zone. Before we start coding, we want to create a remote event inside Replicated Storage and name it Play Area Music. We will use this to play our sounds, add a script to the area part, and first we want to get the sound. So we'll say sound equals script.parent.sound. This will just get the sound and store it to a variable. We could use wait for child if we wanted to uh, make sure the sound has loaded in. Next we'll say script.parent.touched, uh, colon connect, function, passing in hit. This means if the zone is touched by the player, uh, hit is automatically passed through and this function is called whenever the part is touched. Next we want to check that the object that touched the part has a parent. For example the parent of the player's right leg is the player's character. So the part touching the zone might for example be the player's right arm. It's never actually the character. So we want to get the parent which would be the character. So we'll say if hit.parent then now we want to get the player from the character so we can say local player or plr for short equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent now already you can see how we could use some variables here so let's uh, get the hit parent so local hit parent equals hit dot parent and then we can use just say if hit parent then and game dot players colon get player from character hit parent now we want to check if the player exists, so if player then, so if the player is not null or nil. Then we want to fire the play area music remote event on the client, passing the sound we want to play and true. More on true later. We also pass player because the server needs to know what client to fire this event on. It can't just pick a random player, we have to give it, we have to specify what player we want to fire the event on. We'll also add a touch ended function script.parent.touch ended colon connect function passing in hit again so if the player exits the zone hit is automatically passed through the same way it is with the touch just when the player starts touching the zone I am going to copy this code because we're going to do some similar checks uh, the only difference we're going to make is this here rather than when we fire the client rather than uh, passing true we're just going to pass false I am now going to refine this code even more just for people that want to optimize it. If you wouldn't like to though, if you're happy with this, it will work like this, just a little bit less optimized and performance heavy. Um, but if you do want to just skip ahead 
do skip to the next time frame, you should be able to, uh, the next timestamp, sorry, you should be able to uh, scroll across the video and find the next one. What I'm going to do is add the parent. So I'm going to actually make the zone part equal to script.parent. And then rather than doing sound is script.parent colon wait for child, we can say zone. I'm going to copy zone because we're going to use that a lot. Then rather than script.parent, we can just use zone. Uh, anything we're doing script.parent can be replaced with zone. So here as well. And I don't see any more script.parents. The next thing I'm going to do is get the player service because when we're doing game.players, we want it's easier if we get the service, we know it's loaded in. So we can say low uh, not even local, we can say player service or just player. Players equals game colon get service players. And I'll also do the same for replicated storage. So replicated storage equals game colon get service replicated storage. I'll copy the players and replace the game dot players with players and replace the game dot replicated storage with replicated storage and do the same in our touch ended event. Just like that. Next we can see that this code is almost identical. The only difference is on line 12 and 22. We see true and we see false. That's the only difference. So what I'm going to do is create a function. I'll call this function fire area music fire area music equals function passing in the hit and we also well we want the hit we want the part that's hit the uh, zone and we also want the boolean state uh, I'll call this state so true or false all I'll do is cut this code or just copy it for now paste it into here if the we want to get the hit dot parent that's correct if the hit parent exists then if the player exists fire the music the only difference is we don't want the true we want the state and and i believe that is it now we can delete um all the code within here and in there and just replace it with fire area music passing the hit and the state which for our touched event is true and in here we want to call fire uh, area music passing in hit and false this is just a lot more optimized, a much better way of doing it. Once you've finished creating your first zone, duplicate the parts for as many zones as you want. I'm going to make three zones and have the yellow zone with no music. So I won't actually create a zone for this one because I'd like a peaceful area where the players don't have anything playing. So I'll duplicate the purple zone and I'll make the red zone. Let me just, I'm going to make it um, transparency zero again, just so I can see where I'm placing it. Yep, that looks good. It engulfs the entire area, just like I want. And now I'll make it transparent again. I'll rename this one to Red Zone. I'm going to use the Roblox uploaded sound UI Loop Calm Music, which is 156-750-69601. Now I'll duplicate the Red Zone, and I'm going to make this one for the Blue Zone. So again, I'll just make it tra uh, transparency zero so I can see it. Just make it cover the entire area of the Blue Zone, just like so. Now I'll make it transparent again. And now I'll rename it to Blue Zone. I'll change the script, uh, not the script, sorry, the sound, just to a new ID. I'm going to use the UI Loop Guitar Acoustic uploaded by Roblox for this one, which is the ID 156-750-518-46. Now that I've got all the zones, I'm going to just grab them all and uh, put them into a folder. And I'll rename the folder to zones. Just so I've got them all in one place. Finally, we want to add a local script named music handler to start a character script, which is under starter player. In here, the basic code I'm going to write is game.replicated storage dot player area music dot on client event colon connect function passing in the sound and the state. Again, when we remember when we fired the play area music, let me get a script for example. We fired it, we passed in the sound and the state. So the sound is the sound we want to play and the state is the true or the false. First of all, we want to check if the state is true, then we want to play the sound, or if it's false, we want to stop playing the sound. So if state equals true, then if sound dot is playing, uppercase I, uppercase P, equals, equals false, then, if the sound is not already playing, we want to play the sound. Sound colon play. Make sure you're spelling everything exactly how I am or you will get errors. Uh, it's really specific with sounds. So when playing or stopping, you want the colon play or stop with the capital P or the capital S. 
and the one you're using is playing it's capital i capital p that's it and then after this we'll say else to the uh, first original if statement the base if statement if sound dot is playing once again equals equals true then we only want to stop it if the sound is playing and we only want to play it if the sound isn't playing up there sound colon stop just like so that is it now if you want to actually handle this a bit better we could get the replicated storage so we would say local replicated storage equals game colon get service replicated storage now we can replace game dot replicate storage with replicate storage we could um, get the play area music as well local play area music equals replicate storage colon wait for child play area music just wait for that to load in so then i can replace all of this the replicate storage dot play area music with play area music again you don't have to do this if you don't want to optimize your code just skip to the next timestamp and we'll continue from there what else we can do is we'll see if the state is true we're setting we're playing if it's false we are not playing what we can do here is just say if sound dot is playing and what we're doing is if the state is true we're checking if is playing is false if the sound if the state is false we're checking if is playing is true so it's the opposite so we can say if sound dot is playing is equal to not state then so not just means the opposite of basically so if state is true then not state will be false so if the sound is playing is the opposite of the state, which is the pattern we've got going here, then we want to decide whether we want to play or stop the sound. So then I can just say if state is true, then sound play, else sound stop. And I know this doesn't look like much difference, but it is here we you see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines. And here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. So we have saved two lines. We've saved both of these if statements here. So it just needs it up a tiny bit. Now before we test the game, we want to first of all go under zones and just make sure each of our zones are anchored. So I'll select them all, go to home and anchor them. Just because otherwise they're going to fall through into the void and disappear. Now I'll hit play. Okay, so for the testing, I'm just hopping in like during the edit. I'm just going. To, I'm just recording this bit because I did mess up in the original. I uh, didn't actually. I turned my desktop audio all the way down on my recording software by accident, so you couldn't even hear the music. So I'll just test it again. So in the yellow zone, we have no audio, as that's exactly what I wanted. If we go into the red, we hear the red audio playing. Hopefully that's not too loud. If we go in purple, we hear the purple zone playing. And the blue, we hear the blue sound. I hope you found it helpful. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you found this helpful. We have a Discord server where we as a community try to help each other out with our programming issues. Uh, we post updates about future videos and other exciting endeavours there too. You can find a link to that in the description and thank you.